Okay, the next lesson is one-to-one -one functions and inverse functions. So at the end of this video, you're going to define one-to-one -one functions, uh, real-life situation that can be represented by one-to-one -one functions, and the horizontal line test. So, a one-to-one -one function, so in mathematics, a one-to-one -one function is a function that preserves distinctiveness. So when we say distinctiveness, it is a function that is unique. So, wala po siyang katulad. So, kaya siya tinawag na one-to-one. -one. Ibig sabihin, for every domain, meron siyang kapartner na isang range or y. So, again, every element of the function's range is the image of at most one element of its domain. So, kaya siya sinabing one-to-one. -one. So, wala siyang ibang kapartner. As is siya. 1x is always equal to 1y. And 1y is always equal to 1x. So, pagdating natin sa graph, di ba meron tayong vertical line test to test if it is a functions. So, kapag vertical line test, i-drawing tayo ng line parallel to the y-axis. Tapos, i-move natin siya na kapag wala siyang ibang tinatch na point or isa lang yung point na tinatch niya within the graph ibig sabihin it is a function now for a one to one function ang gagamitin natin is a horizontal line test so a horizontal line test is a function that is one to one if the horizontal line does not intersect the graph at one or more than one point so Horizontal line test, parallel naman siya sa x-axis na may kita nyo after this video. To continue, let's have inverse function. So, inverse function, we determine the inverse of a one-to-one -one function and we will have the properties of the inverse of a one-to-one -one function. So, Inverse function is a relation in inversing the process performed by any function f of x is called any inverse f of x. So, kung meron kayong original function, ah, magiging inverse siya kapag makita yung symbol ay ito, f raised to negative 1. So, si x ay babalik ta rin para magkakaroon ka ng bagong function. So, Yan naman yung inverse. So, if the function is 1 to 1, na kaya magkarugtong itong topic na to, then the inverse function of f is denoted by f raised to negative 1. So, it is the function formed by reversing all the ordered pairs in f. So, kung ang inverse ng f raised to negative 1 is equal to the coordinates ng y, kama x, so, at may kita mo rin na pinagbaliktad siya na maging x, y ay may kita mo sa f, ibig sabihin siya ay inverse function. So, ang inverse function ay nag exist lamang sa mga linear equation. So, if the f raised to negative 1 inverse function exists, then 1, f of 1 is 1 to 1 function. So, f is also 1 to 1. Number 2, the domain of f raised to negative 1, or the inverse function, is the range of y. And the range of f raised to negative 1 is equal to domain of f. So, lit literally, pinagbabaliktad natin siya kung ano si range ng original function. Pagdating sa inverse, siya ang domain. Kapag ang original ni domain, kapag in-inverse mo, siya ang magiging range ni f of negative 1. So, if you're going to find the inverse function of the set ordered pairs, 0, 2, 1, 0, 2, 5, 3, 4, and 4, 6. So, ang f raised to negative 1 nito will be 2, 0, 0, 1, 5, comma 2, 4, comma 3, and 6, comma 4. 
So, yun na yung inverse ng ordered pair na given. Now, if you're going to compare the following, no, xy, tapos yung sumunod, xy, ah, sa, dito sa A, sa set A, kung ito ang F, itong nasa baba ang F raised to negative 1. So, kung pagbabalik ka rin naman, kung ito naman ang F, ang inverse niya ay ito. Ito naman ang F raised to negative 1. So, if f of x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, and f raised to negative 1 is 2, 1, 2, 3, and 2, 4. So, sa C, ah, kapag meron kang, do, meron kang 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5 as your domain, tapos meron siya ng 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, kapag inverse mo, ang magiging x mo na is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Tapos, ang magiging y mo is yung 5, 5, 5, 5. Now, a function has an inverse if and only if it is 1 to 1. So, tatandaan natin, ang mayroon ng inverse is 1 to 1 function. So, to find the inverse function of any linear equation, so, ito yung magiging process natin. For the given, f of x is equal to 3x plus 6. So, kung meron tayong yung given, first is to change f of x into y. So, kita nyo naman, y is equal to 3x plus 6. Tapos, since pagbabalik ta rin natin, si domain tsaka kay range, Ganun din, pagbabalik na rin din natin si y tsaka si x. So, si x, si y magiging x, si x magiging y. Next, for the next step, you're going to isolate y naman. So, for the given example, para mawala si plus 6, kailangan nung mag minus 6 for both side para pagdating dito, makakancel siya. Yan yung makakancel. So, ang matitira na lang is 3y. And then, so, kung meron kang x minus 6 is equal to 3y, para ma-isolate mo si y, i-divide mo both side kay 3. So, mawawala na si 3 sa right side of the equation. Tapos, ang matitira na lang is x minus 6 over 3 is equal to y. So, ito na ngayon ang magiging inverse function natin. Yan, yan na ang magiging inverse function niya. Let us now perform a composition to the following function. Na kapag naitay niya yung number 1, kapag pinarit mo si g of x kay sa una sa f of x, so, si f of g of x ay magiging x minus 1 plus 1 wherein makakancel mo na si 1 so ang matitira na lang is x same with g of f of x Kapag sinubstitute mo siya, ang matitira na lang din ay 1 kasi x minus x plus 1 minus 1. Or... So, matitira na lang din x. Okay. Yung pangalawa, ganun din. If magkocomposition of function, so, sa una, f times g of x. So, Una si f, format niya, then ipapalit mo si g kay x. So, x minus 3 over 2 plus 3. So, since 2 times x minus 3 over 2, pwede mo nang 
divide, yan si 2, tsaka yun denominator na 2, tsaka yun nasa labas na 2. So, parang matitira lang is x minus 3. So, matitira sa numerator ay x minus 3. Since 1 ang denominator, pwede natin hindi isulat. So, plus 3. So, ayan, makakancel out din siya. Ang matitira na lang din ay x. Ganun din sa pangalawa. So, x, uh, 2x plus 3 minus 3 since format naman ni g ang sinusunod natin. So, kapag tinanggal natin yung parenthesis, makakancel natin si 3. Si 2, pwede natin i-divide kay 2. So, ang matitinara lang din dito ay x. Okay. Okay, so kaya nag-perform tayo ng position to the following functions because it is the property of an inverse function. That the two function of f and g are inverse of each other if f circle of g of x is equal to x and g circle of f of x is equal to x. So, once na nag-perform kayo ng composition, tapos parehas x ang nakuha nyo, ang ibig sabihin, inverse sila with each other. So, that's all for lesson 6. If you have difficulties under in understanding this lesson, you may watch it again or kapag nagkaroon tayo ng Zoom class, magtanong kayo for some clarifications. Okay, so to run our test, ito yung paggamit ng vertical, ng horizontal line test. Let us use yung equation 3x plus 6. So, makikita natin, ito yung equation kapag gumamit tayo ng vertical line test. Uh, wala siyang ibang line na natouch. Okay. So, since it, it is a function, we use the horizontal line test. So, since kagaya ng sa vertical line, isang point na yung nag-a-attach sa kanya, ibig sabihin, siya ay one-to-one -one function. Ngayon, ang inverse, ang inverse niya is itong red na line. Okay? So, let's use yung last example, yung x plus 1 tsaka yung x minus 1. So, yung x plus 1 x plus 1 If I show the equation, ito siya. So, kapag nag-horizontal line test ka ulit, Isa lang yung point na nag-intersect sa kanya. So, ibig sabihin, siya ay 1 to 1 function. Therefore, meron siyang inverse. So, tandaan natin tong position na to. Na ito ang inverse niya. Ayan. So, between 0 and 2. Tapos, 0, negative 2. Tapos, kapag Kinuha naman natin yung isa, x minus 1, natin, na ayun, so, ito, ito na ngayon siya. Pag kinuha may inverse, ang lalabas yung graph kanina. So, that is the proof na parehas silang, they are inverse of each other. So, that's how we use horizontal line test and that's how we graph inverse function. So again, uh, we have 3x. So if you show equation, ito siya. So from 6 and negative 2 na intersection niya sa x and y axis, or ang x intercept niya na negative 2, kapag in-inverse mo, ang magiging, di ba yung x magiging y? So kaya, makita mo dito ito yung y-intercept niya is negative 2 kasi yun yung x-intercept niya. 
Ngayon, yung y-intercept ng green na 6, yun naman ang magiging x-intercept ng inverse ng 3x plus 6. So, ganun mag-graph ng inverse function. So, I hope you understand uh, how do we process 1 to 1 and inverse function. Fuck, 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 fuck.